car park unloaded and uh, it was a mighty performance. The first grand final in 55 years. They were aiming for their second premiership in their proud history and this is exactly how it finished. 99,981 at the MCG with plenty of red and white but even more blue. Ready for Australian football's biggest show with the Sydney Swans looking for a second flag of the decade, whereas the Western Bulldogs had gone without for six decades, contesting the grand final for just the third time in the club's 91-year history and for the first time since 1961. Both teams hit the hallow turf of the MCG with the intensity you expect on grand final day, but struggled to control the ball in slippery conditions. Neither team scored in the opening nine minutes before Swans co-captain Kieran Jack broke the deadlock with a behind after a courageous mark running back against the flight of the ball. Everidge's men got out to a handy 16-point lead at the 11-minute mark of the second quarter when they kicked three of the first four goals of the turn. One, a brilliant around-the-body snap from Liam Pickin, the son of Collingwood gum Billy. Loose ball feeds it back. Hunter, back to Pickin, snaps across his body. Don't tell me. Things falling into place for the Bulldogs. Josh Kennedy was outstanding for the Swans, racking up 34 hard-won possessions and kicking three goals, helping his team get on top in the second quarter. Marcus Bontempelli helped turn the game the Bulldogs' way after half-time, while Pickin underlined his status as one of the most improved players in the competition. The Bulldogs took an eight-point lead into the final term after grabbing the ascendancy of the game with two goals to one in the third quarter, but struggled to put the Swans away in the final term. Key midfielder Dan Hanabry suffered a left knee injury in a crunching collision with Bulldogs captain Easton Wood in the opening minute of the final term and could no longer contribute. Twice John Longmire's men closed to within one point in a thrilling final quarter. The first through a Lance Franklin set shot from 50 metres at the seven minute mark. Liam Pickin kicked a goal on the run at the 17 minute mark to put the Dogs seven points up. Oh, Pickin! Pickin! Yes! Liam Pickin! But nothing was certain until Tom Boyd provided the moment that turned the match. He was run down. Tom Boyd's got it. Tom Boyd goes long. How will it bounce? The stadium holds its breath. It's a goal. He had come of age and become an instant Bulldogs hero, helping his luckless Bulldogs break the AFL's longest premiership drought and complete the most unlikely finals run of all time to win their second grand final with a 22-point win. He misses, but they don't miss out. Their day, their year, their joy. A win that broke the club's 62-year premiership drought and ensured coach Luke Beveridge and his side joined Charlie Sutton's 1954 team in Bulldogs immortality. <laughs> 2016 had become the year of the dog. Beveridge's men becoming the first team to win a premiership from seventh on the ladder. His litter of pups had become the AFL's top dogs. You know, it, it, it all comes down to the players. Um, so many people have put a lot of work into them and um, given a lot of guidance. And, you know, everyone who supports them in the club has got them to the uh, point where they're pretty finely tuned for a grand final. It's just an amazing uh, performance by, them, by our boys. And Sydney, Sydney are an unbelievable side, so it took everything. Jason Johannesson was a popular, if not surprise, choice as the Norm Smith medal winner. Uh, to our club, uh, it's been an amazing ride. I just love being a part of it. Uh, to all the supporters, it's been a long time coming. We did it! Dale Morris revealed after the historic 22-point win that he broke two vertebrae in his back in the round 23 loss to Fremantle. Oh, it is. I can't describe it. Um, hasn't really sunk in yet. I'm sure I'll wait for a couple of days, but I'm so proud of this footy club. Of all the adversity we have been through, you know, in the last couple of years, um, just absolutely toughest group I've ever played with. On the podium came the most spontaneous, special and unselfish sporting moment. I'd like to get Bob Murphy up on the stand. This is yours, mate. 
For a club that was in hell just two years earlier, this was a fairy tale, a dream come true for Bulldogs of all ages. Yeah, the road to the promised land is reserved for a rare few and the Western Bulldogs wrote their own exciting chapter, their second premiership, their first in 62 years. And what a performance it was. Everything went well. It was a great year. Bob, what was your immediate thought the moment the siren sounded on the bench? Uh, I don't think there's, there's words to describe um, exactly what, what we all felt, but I, think, um, I just think we were starting to get a...